tonight from Bills Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills taking on Ben Roethlisberger and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Winner is just around the corner as you get a look at Bills Stadium just south of Buffalo, New York. The folks in Buffalo love their Bills, and a moment ago they entered to the delight of this sold-out crowd. They're set for football as their Bills will do battle with the Pittsburgh Steelers. And we are underway in Buffalo. This taken in about four yards deep. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. The Steeler offense set to go to work. And once again at the helm, their longtime starter, that's Ben Roethlisberger. And for Ben Roethlisberger, there are a lot of question marks coming into this year because he missed nearly all of 2019 with an elbow injury. And if he were younger, maybe not as many questions. But he turned 38 back in March. And now the Pittsburgh Steelers expect to see the old Ben Roethlisberger, who's thrown for over 56,000 yards in his career, leading their team. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside, as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. On second down, Samuels. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Hey, get in there. Get what you want, Jay. Get in there. Nice play there by Ed Oliver. That's why he went ninth overall when he came out of Houston back in 2019. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. He's got a man open. It's Chase Claypool. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 47. They'll run for the first time with James Conner. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. The last run got six, now second and four. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come to the middle of that high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side first drive of the game we did see this in practice didn't we because they allowed us to stay and watch and see what their opening script would be even though we don't know the exact play calls that looks a lot like what we saw them execute doesn't it really does and in practice it wasn't about a lot of big shots on that opening drive they wanted to put together a series of plays sustain it they've done that the defense now on their heels a little that that they are and you know what else is happening now they're gaining information they're gaining knowledge about how the defense is planning on playing them so not only are they being successful on this drive they're filing things away for future drives in this game that throw good for only a couple it brings up third down from the gun it's Roethlisberger he's going to take a shot for the end zone and caught in the end zone touchdown Steelers Chase Claypool 27 yards and the Steelers take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive and the QB rating right now is sky high. Four for four on that opening drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass. Yeah, I don't know quite how to figure it out. I think I need my friends from MIT to come in and help me. <laughs> but I think 158.3 is the number one. Yep, that's the, right? high that's the highest you can get. That's where he is. He'd like to continue on that pace. 
Chris Boswell now for the extra point. And he'll put it through to make it 7-0 Steelers. So that drive goes eight plays. And it ends with the Steelers finding the end zone. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Andre Roberts now to return it. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Well, the Bills make their way out, led by their third-year quarterback from Wyoming. At 24 years of age, it's Josh Allen. Well, what do we ask about players in this league? We ask them to improve from year to year, and Josh Allen did exactly that from his rookie year to year number two. Doubled his touchdown passes from 10 to 20. One of the better running quarterbacks in the league had nine touchdown runs. That gives him 17 in his first two seasons. This guy gets better and better and absolutely loves the game of football. Throwing on first down is Allen. He's got the connection to Cole Beasley. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. A first carry for the second year running back. It's Devin Singletary. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. Second and seven. Allen eluding the pressure right. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. But that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Throwing his Allen on third. Flush to his right. He may try and run. The ball comes out. And it looks like Steeler football. It is. Good job starting on that scramble. Had his eyes on that first down marker, CD, but lost the most important thing, the football. Yeah, it wasn't quite there. Focused solely on getting to the first down marker. Forgot to cover up and take care of the ball. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Deontay Johnson. 44 yards, and the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards and just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. Boswell for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see, just one play resulting in the touchdown. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. 
So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. So you can have an empty possession, punt the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. Here's Allen on first and ten. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report, but business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen, incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That keep you away from a lot of needless penalties and he's able to knock that one away a quick throw gets caught by Diggs and boy he is very close to a first down but from where they're spotting that football he's going to be a foot or so short So in their own territory, but they only need a few inches. So they're going to opt to go for this thing. We'll see. Maybe a surprise pass or run. What will they do? We're about to find out. Fourth down. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Now this time, Allen will throw. They'll roll him out right. And he finds Tyler Croft. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Now Allen going to give it to Moss. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. I love football lingo and the evolution of it all. Nickel defense makes sense, right? Five, Five defensive DBs. backs. But then you go to six. What are you going to call that? They call it a Double dime. It. <laughs> a dime, which is just very simple for them. The math doesn't add up. But I know one thing. Offenses love to run against dime defenses. Typically, the bigger guys have an advantage against the smaller defensive backs when they're blocking downfield. Yeah, we saw that advantage right there. <laughs> to throw again on second down. Allen. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the Bills are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. So 
with a shotgun snap to Allen. Flushed out right. That'll be taken in by Beasley. Touchdown, Buffalo. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Bills have cut it to within a score. No, they don't get nothing. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, headed into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. And a lot of football, full half to be played. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for. And this touchdown will count. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Getting set to go again, Ben Roethlisberger heading back out there. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interception so far. Does a lot for your confidence does a great deal for your team, gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. On first and ten is counter. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. 